and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miranda Holder. I'm a celebrity stylist and your feel good fashion coach. And this channel is going to be filled with beauty, style and feel good fashion tips just for you. Meghan Markle has been in the media spotlight long enough to know exactly what she is doing. And she has developed her own signature style that works for her time and time again. I'm gonna share five of her top style tips with you today. Number one, be a minimalist. Meghan is an expert minimalist dresser. She chooses garments that are pared back or toned down. She dresses in an understated way and lets her beauty and her presence do all the talking. She was, of course, a very successful actress, so she knows how to build her very own personal brand. She understands that clothes are a language all of their own without having to utter a single word, and she uses them really effectively. She takes a capsule wardrobe, less is more approach to fashion, and has a wardrobe full of hero pieces that fit and flatter her perfectly. She keeps accessories to a minimum, preferring a clean, uncluttered look that looks very expensive. Fit is paramount here and Meghan's clothes fit her perfectly. She knows which silhouettes suit her, so her clothes always flatter and her dressing seems completely effortless and natural, allowing her to get on with the job in hand. Style lesson number two invest in neutrals. Megan favors neutrals over bright colors and is regularly seen in black, brown, navy blue, ivory, khaki, all those lovely base tones. This is in line with her more minimalist approach to her wardrobe and can look very expensive as long as you focus on the quality of the fabrics. Generally speaking, you want to go for the natural fabrics such as silk, linen, and wool and avoid things like acrylic and rayon. The beauty of having a wardrobe full of neutrals is that all neutrals by their very nature mix and match effortlessly together. So it really is far easier dressing in the mornings. It's easier to build outfits. It's far quicker to shop because you know which colors you're looking for and you don't have a headache when it comes to accessorizing. My top tip for building a wardrobe around neutrals is to choose two or three colors that you know really suit you and base your wardrobe mainly on those shades. Then you can have fun adding a few key accent colors if you wish to bring the whole thing to life. Style lesson number three, invest in a camel coat. Speaking of neutrals, Megan is very often spotted wearing a camel coat. She owns quite a few and wears them to almost every occasion. The richness and depth of the color looks very expensive and elegant, and it's not too warm and not too cool, so it will go with almost every color. It looks fabulous with brights, with prints, with neutrals, and you can wear it over something like athleisure or sportswear and really sort of dress it up and suddenly make it look chic, or equally it would look fabulous over an evening gown, so it's very versatile. It's the ultimate throw-on third piece that's going to finish any outfit. Style lesson number four, invest in separates. Not only is Megan's look clean and minimal, but she takes this capsule wardrobe approach further by basing her wardrobe on beautifully, immaculately cut separates that again, mix and match together beautifully. This provides her with almost endless outfit options as she makes sure that she can wear each piece in several different ways before she buys. This is also a great shopping tactic if you're a different size on the top half to the one you are on the bottom half. My top tip for buying separates is to try and think of at least three different ways you can wear the item and have a big trying on session when you bring it home to make sure it fits really well into your wardrobe. Try to buy less and buy better. Style lesson number five, understand color psychology. With her background in acting, Megan is no stranger to the powers of communication, and she takes this further with the language of clothes with her savvy use of color psychology. If you're not familiar with color psychology, scientists have discovered that different colors evoke different connotations, meanings, and psychological effects. You may have noticed that Megan wears a lot of white and other similar shades, ivory and cream, and even more so since the rift with Prince Harry and the rest of the royal family. Why is this, I wonder? 
White symbolizes peace, purity, and innocence. So perhaps she's trying to send a subconscious message to the rest of the royal family and the public with her color choices. That's it for today. Don't forget to ask me any questions you like in the comments. And for more feel good fashion and beauty tips and inside information, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell.